Police ask if you know anything at all about what happened to call the crime line. Also, you can always leave an anonymous tip using the P3 Tips app. Now to developing news. Staying in Portsmouth, police in the city are also investigating a deadly shooting. It happened earlier this morning, just before 2. It was on Portsmouth Boulevard near Airline Boulevard. Our Madison Pearman was on the scene earlier today. and She brings us the story. Tonight, Portsmouth police are looking for who's responsible for a deadly overnight shooting, and you could be the key to helping them find the person who did it. Today, the parking lot of Griff's Restaurant and Sports Lounge in Portsmouth is full of cars belonging to regulars. But earlier this morning, it was crowded with cop cars. It was just before 2 a.m. when cops got the call about a possible shooting here on Portsmouth Boulevard. When they got here to Griff's, they found a man who'd been shot. Paramedics were able to get him to a local hospital, but the shooting investigation would quickly become a homicide investigation after police say the victim died from his injuries just hours later. Today, we're learning more about that man. Police say his name was John Robert Plummer III. He was 37 years old. We're also learning more about the people police believe could be involved in taking his life. Just hours after the deadly shooting, detectives released these pictures taken from security cameras. They say this woman and a trio of men also photographed could be responsible for this deadly shooting. Detectives tell us they were last seen in a dark colored vehicle heading towards Chesapeake. Tonight, they're still working to learn their names and where they could be right now. If you know anything that could help Portsmouth police with their investigation, they want you to give them a call. You can call the crime line at 1 888 Lock You Up. As always, you can stay anonymous. For now, that's the latest here in Portsmouth. Madison Pierman, 10 on your side.